What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Chasing Infinity. And today, I have a fun topic. We're going to debate who the best NBA player to ever live was. And I want to get Nova's opinion on this. So let's go ahead and bring her in. Hey, Nova, how's it going? Hey, After Sound. I'm here and ready to chat. Awesome. Would you like to introduce the folks to what our topic is for today? Absolutely. Today on Chasing Infinity, we're diving into a heated debate. Who is the best NBA player in history? We're focusing on three legendary figures, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and LeBron James. We'll compare their stats, impacts, and legacies to see if we can settle this debate or at least stir up some great conversation. Ready to jump in? Let's do it. So I would actually like to get your opinion. So I'd like for you to pick one between Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and Kobe Bryant. And what I want you to do is take into account several different factors. Their overall career stats, their influence on the game of basketball itself, and their influence on the wider world or their popularity uh, globally, internationally. So very curious to hear how you would break down each of these and pick your top candidate for the best or most important basketball player of all time. That's a tough choice, but let's break it down. One, Michael Jordan. Often seen as the epitome of greatness in basketball, Jordan's influence is unmatched. He not only dominated the court with six NBA championships and five MVP awards, but also elevated the NBA's global presence. His brand and legacy extend well beyond basketball, making him a global cultural icon. Two, LeBron James. LeBron is a phenomenal all-rounder, known for his versatility and longevity in the game. With four NBA championships and four MVP awards, his stats are impressive. Off the court, LeBron has significantly impacted community projects and global media, extending his influence worldwide. Three, Kobe Bryant. Kobe, known for his incredible work ethic and competitive spirit, won five NBA championships and was an 18-time All-Star. His Mamba mentality has left a lasting legacy on athletes across all sports. Internationally, Kobe was incredibly popular, especially in places like China, where his influence rivals that of Jordan. Considering all factors, stats, influence on basketball, and global impact, Michael Jordan often comes out on top for his unparalleled combination of dominance, cultural impact, and the way he shaped the game's global narrative. However, the debate can swing based on personal values and what aspects of their careers resonate most with individuals. Interesting. So I think I'm going to agree with you that Michael Jordan probably is at the top and primarily because he was the first right out of this trio that we're looking at. And again, you know, everything was shaped because of the path that he trailblazed. But let me press you now on who do you think is number two between Kobe Bryant and LeBron James? Choosing a number two between Kobe Bryant and LeBron James is particularly challenging as they both have left profound impacts on and off the court. However, if we consider the longevity and versatility in the game, LeBron James might edge out as the number two. LeBron has continued to perform at an elite level across different teams and eras, adapting his game as necessary, which speaks to a remarkable career longevity. He's also very active in social and community causes, expanding his influence beyond basketball. Kobe, meanwhile, was exceptional for his scoring ability, relentless competitiveness, and influence, particularly among players and fans who admired his Mamba mentality. His legacy is immense, but looking at the breadth and ongoing nature of LeBron's impact, LeBron might just have the slight edge in this comparison. Interesting. Okay, well, I appreciate the response. Now let's get a little bit more fun with it. Who would you put at number four? And I'm going to leave it completely open. For the number four spot, considering we're venturing beyond the trio we've been discussing, I'd suggest Tim Duncan. Often referred to as the big fundamental, Duncan doesn't always get the flashy recognition, but his impact on the game is undeniable. He led the San Antonio Spurs to five NBA championships and was a two-time MVP. Duncan was known for his consistent performance, leadership, and the quiet way he dominated the game, 
fundamentally shaping the power forward position. His career is marked by both excellence and humility, making him a top contender for rounding out the top four influential NBA players. Fascinating. Okay, let's just do one more so we can round out the top five. Who would be your fifth after Tim Duncan? Rounding out the top five, Shaquille O'Neal would be a compelling choice. Shaq's sheer dominance as a center during his prime was almost unparalleled. He brought a unique combination of size, skill, and personality to the game, leading his teams to four NBA championships and earning himself the MVP award in 2000. Off the court, Shaq's charismatic and larger-than-life personality has made him a beloved figure in popular culture. His influence stretches from the basketball court to the entertainment industry, making him a standout figure in the sport's history. I was wondering where Shaq would be on your list. So number five is actually awesome. He was probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite player growing up. So very cool to see. All right, let's go ahead and wrap up this episode. I do want to ask you this, though. For the next person, the next player that comes in, what accomplishment? Uh, I'm sorry. What accomplishments do they have to achieve in order to surpass Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and LeBron James to be in that top tier, um, top tier qualification? To surpass legends like Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and LeBron James, a player would need a combination of incredible achievements. One, championships. Winning multiple NBA championships is crucial, as each of the mentioned legends has multiple titles to their name. Two, individual awards. Consistently earning MVP awards and other accolades, like Defensive Player of the Year or scoring titles, would be essential to showcase their dominance in the league. Three, longevity and consistency. Maintaining top performance across a long career, adapting to changes in the game and within their teams, just as LeBron has done. Four, influence. They would need to significantly impact how the game is played and perceived, influencing both teammates and the next generation of players. Five, global impact. Extending their influence beyond the basketball court, whether through charitable work, business ventures, or global outreach, mirroring the off-court impacts of players like Jordan and LeBron. Six, cultural icon, status becoming a symbol in global culture, transcending the sport much like Jordan with his brand and LeBron with his media presence. Achieving these would set up a player not just as a great of the game, but as a transformative figure in basketball history. Awesome. I do have one quick follow-up. Is there a current player, young or old, that you think has a chance of cracking into that top five? A current player who stands a good chance of making it into the top five someday is Giannis Antetokounmpo. Known as the Greek Freak, Giannis has already made significant strides in his young career. He has multiple MVP awards, a Defensive Player of the Year title, and led the Milwaukee Bucks to an NBA championship in 2021, earning finals MVP for his dominant performance. Giannis combines exceptional physical talent with a strong work ethic and has shown the ability to improve year over year. If he continues on this trajectory, maintains his performance levels, and possibly secures more championships, he could very well find himself among the basketball greats in future discussions. Awesome. Nova, this was super fun. Thank you so much for engaging in this debate with me. I'm sure the listeners enjoyed it. Let's go ahead and sign off if you want to say goodbye to everybody. I'll catch you all in the next episode. I'm glad you enjoyed it after sound. Thanks to everyone for tuning in. We hope you had as much fun as we did. Catch you on the next episode of Chasing Infinity. Take care, everyone.